bitcoins. You may have stumbled upon the term online, but what exactly are these? To give us an idea of this digital currency and how it works, we have in the studio the founder and chief executive officer of Coins.ph, Ron Hose, for today's Money Talks. Hi, Ron. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us today. Now, bitcoins were first introduced way back in 2009, am I correct? Yes. But the currency and the, the idea of it is fairly new in the Philippines. And honestly, for me, can you tell us what bitcoins are? And can you give us a brief background on uh, why bitcoins were developed? Absolutely. So uh, bitcoin is a digital currency uh, that anybody can uh, buy, sell, hold, transfer. Um, it's particularly interesting because unlike existing currency that is controlled by government or banks, uh, Bitcoin is actually decentralized. Mm -hmm. So uh, very similar to the way that when you access the internet, there is no one authority that owns uh, right. the internet. You can, uh, anybody can access it. It's a, it's a network mm -hmm. of computers. Uh, Bitcoin is a network of, um, is a network of value. So it allows uh, people to send money from one person to the other directly. And you can own and hold it without needing to have a bank account. Mm -hmm. You can store it on your mobile phone or on your laptop. Okay. But doesn't that, in itself, you said that it's decentralized. Isn't that scary for most people? Because there's no one regulating agency. Not one body regulates it. Right. So, I mean, I'm sure the internet was scary as well for a lot of people in 1992 <laughs> and 93. Right. Um, you know, what's really important with Bitcoin is not so much the fact that it's, um, that it's not regulated, but the fact that it uh, allows anyone the financial freedom to, uh, con to, uh, to transact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how does the system work? How do you earn Bitcoins? Do you purchase it? Exchange um, your, your real cash? for bitcoins? Yeah, so it works just like any other uh, currency or money. You can earn it for doing work. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of, um, a, a lot of uh, people who are doing uh, online work in the Philippines actually earn in bitcoin because mm -hmm. it's uh, cheaper to receive it than uh, mm -hmm. to use a service like PayPal that would take uh, 9 or 10% on the way. All um, right. some, uh, some people buy it um, from an exchange like coins.ph. So you can uh, log into our site, uh, make an order, uh, purchase, pay with uh, cash at retail locations or deposit money to our bank account and then you receive Bitcoin to your wallet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, can you give us an overview of the Bitcoin exchange in the Philippine market? Do we have an expansive market for it? Uh, we have a small but uh, very, uh, very good initial market for Bitcoin in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three exchanges that operate here. Uh, there is our exchange, coins.ph. Uh, there is a second exchange called Buy, Bit called Buy Bitcoin and mm -hmm. a third one called Coin Exchange. Uh, all three of them um, basically provide uh, a way for people to turn their cash into Bitcoin and then to, in return to turn Bitcoin back into cash. Mm -hmm. And because we have three exchanges uh, operating, uh, the pricing is actually quite competitive even right. when you compare it to some uh, other neighboring countries. So how much does one Bitcoin cost here in the Philippines? Right. So the price of Bitcoin is driven by market value. Um, the, um, uh, the price of a milli Bitcoin is around uh, 27 pesos at the mm -hmm. moment, uh, but it fluctuates basically uh, based on supply and demand, global supply and mm -hmm. demand. So how do you keep track of its current value day to day? You're saying it fluctuates depending right. on the market movement. Yeah, so most exchanges, similar to, um, 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 to a stock exchange, you can actually go and see the tracker, uh, mm -hmm. so what the current price is. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, financial data providers like Bloomberg actually have feeds uh, that give the, the immediate or the current uh, mm -hmm. price of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, of course, this is more convenient for those with internet connection, but your site says you can use bitcoins even without the internet or even without credit cards. Right. So the, the, um, the interesting thing about bitcoin is anybody can have it. Mm -hmm. um, so you can store it on a mobile phone. Uh, you can store it on a website. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to have a bank account or a credit card. You can purchase uh, with cash and you can, if you're receiving bitcoin from your relatives uh, in the U.S., for example, yeah. uh, you can actually cash the Bitcoin mm -hmm. in for pesos uh, and receive uh, money door to door. Mm -hmm. This can be used for remittances, you're saying. Exactly. So the, 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 the interesting thing about the market in the Philippines is that about 
Uh, 75% of the population here is unbanked. And actually, they're never going to be banked mm -hmm. because the, the cost of servicing them at a retail location is just too high, right? The bank has to keep um, real estate, uh, armored trucks, tellers. Uh, and if you don't have enough savings, the minute you walk into the bank, you lose money. Right. The bank loses money, right? right. Um, with Bitcoin, you can service uh, those customers from a mobile phone, right? Mm -hmm. You download an application, you can immediately hold Bitcoin in your wallet, and um, we don't have all these overhead costs. So, mm -hmm. um, for example, if you are receiving your remittance from family um, in, in the U.S., you don't have to pay the, the 3 4 5% that you would normally pay uh, to mm -hmm. receive a remittance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in the U.S. and other countries, many retailers are already using Bitcoins. But in the Philippine setting, how many retailers are into this? Right, so we actually provide a merchant gateway, and we're, um, we, there are two of the three largest e-commerce sites in this country mm -hmm. are already accepting Bitcoin, uh, mm -hmm. Cash Cash, Pinoy, and MetroDale. Uh, and there's uh, a lot more that are following. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can you make sure then that Bitcoins are safe? How do you protect the integrity of each transaction? Right, so when you, um, if you decide to, hold, to uh, use Bitcoin, you will download an application to your Android phone. Uh, it's called a Bitcoin wallet. Mm -hmm. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, and that wallet actually secures your value. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that for each transaction, there's a key or a, some sort of password that makes sure that you did carry out the tr transaction and this confirms that particular exchange. Yeah, so every particular exchange is signed uh, mm -hmm. by your private key. This is what your application, what mm -hmm. your phone application holds. And mm -hmm. this is actually very different to credit cards. Credit cards are actually much less safe because when you're transacting with, transacting with a credit card, you're actually giving the other party your entire card number, uh -huh. right? They can uh -huh. actually go and use that card number now to order something else. Yeah. But when you're transacting with Bitcoin, you're only sending the exact amount of value you're sending across mm -hmm. the system. So it's uh, actually far more secure than uh, traditional You're saying, Ron, methods. that this is more secure than the credit card? Yeah, much more secure mm -hmm. than credit cards on both sides. Uh, so the... the um, for the, for, for the merchants. So you're protecting each party then. Exactly. Yeah. But is this safe from, is the system safe from hacking? There's one such case in, I've read about this just a day ago. In Japan, uh, the founder and CEO, if I remember correctly, of Mt. Gox, right, has so filed for bankruptcy because of, he was saying, hacking attacks of actually, this Bitcoin exchange. Yeah, actually there was some in investigation and uh, although we lost some of the funds for mm -hmm. hacking, and this is something that could affect any bank really, yeah. um, the majority of the funds were actually lost because of their, uh, the management's gross, uh, uh, gross negligence. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I think to this extent, this is very similar to any other currency, right? If you have a bank that is, um, that is not following best practices, they can go um, out of business. Mm -hmm. And what happened in Mt. Gox's um, case was exactly that. They did not secure their vault. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now tell us about your website then, coins.ph. How can people use this as an avenue for Bitcoin exchange? Sure. Well, actually, I want to tell you about a service that we uh, just launched this week that right. is very interesting. Um, it's, uh, it's a service by coins.ph. It's called sendmoney.ph. Mm -hmm. And it allows anyone to easily send money into the Philippines. Uh, without paying the remittance, the normal remittance fee that you would pay. So it's a 0% fee. Zero percent? Fee and 0 yes, you can send okay. money to any of your relatives uh, in the Philippines. They can uh, pick up their money at one of 5,000 retail locations. We deposit it into 12 major banks uh, and we can even uh, send the money door to door. Mm -hmm. um, and the way it works is um, the remitter logs into our website. Mm -hmm. Coins.ph. Uh, Coins.ph. Okay, they, they will click on remit. Uh -huh. uh, they fill in a literally a three-step form. Yeah, where they that's put how in, you register, right? Yeah, they okay. put in the name of the recipient. They choose how much they want to send mm -hmm. and how they like the money to be sent, and then they can pay with Bitcoin. And mm -hmm. because they're paying with Bitcoin, we don't have uh, to incur the cost of the international remittance. Oh, very so it's, interesting. Um, so it's a very fast, uh, cheap, and simple way to remit money to the Philippines and uh, not have to pay. Uh, the average of 9% that people pay today yeah. to get money in. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, thank you, Ron, for telling us more about Bitcoins. Thank you for joining us here in the studio. Thank you. Okay, Ron Hose there, a founder and CEO of Coins.ph, joining us for today's Money Talks.